game situation drills. Wall deflections. Place a net over by the sideboards. Pucks can be shot either directly at the goalie to prevent cheating or banked off the wall near the goalie. This puck can be either flat on the ice or in the air. Aerial deflections catch many goalies spectating and when practiced here can make this area a strength. Centering pass drill. Pucks are placed off to the side and centered out to a man in the slot. Without cheating, the goaltender must explosively challenge out, ensuring that they square up to the puck, not the body. The man in front can be freed up to move around to make this drill tougher. Goalie screen drill. Place goaltenders 8 to 10 feet in front of the net. Pucks are shot crisply through the legs, and the goaltender must bob and weave to find the puck. A hard butterfly and a strong stick are called for here to have success. Peekaboo screen board. Steve McKeegan invented and patented the Peekaboo screen board as a derivative of a full-size screen board. Pucks can be shot under or around the board, which forces the goaltender to make quick head switches and requires impressive visual battling skills. The shooter can move around to make this drill tougher, and backdoor passes can also be factored in. Karate Bag Drill Another McKeegan innovation designed to make active screening truly next to impossible for the goaltender. The goaltender must fight to find the puck here and use anticipation skills to stop pucks that they may have not gotten a good look at upon release. Challenge and Backdoor Pass Drill This is a great transition drill, which requires the goaltender to make a quick depth adjustment and then react to a tight backdoor pass. To give the goaltender a chance, this pass must be sensible. Two-pad slide backdoor pass drill. A two-pad slide will work on some backdoor passes, so set up a man on the backdoor. Passes should be one-timed, and this man should stay in relatively close to the goaltender. Blind pass drill. Many passes occur that goaltenders may have trouble sensing because their line of sight was screened. Here the goaltender gets a delayed jump on the centering pass, making this situation even more challenging. The passer must give away the timing with a noisy stick while passing. Net Deflections Steve created this drill to develop a goaltender's response to a hard deflection. The puck really rockets off the net, so the goaltender needs to use disciplined stick and a hard knee drive while sliding to make this save. Pucks should be shot directly at the goaltender once in a while to keep them honest. By starting at the near post and then challenging out, we can increase the level of difficulty. Elite transition skills are required here. Of course, challenges from the far post should be used as well to create a balanced development. Face-off one-timer drill. Place a centerman at the face-off dot and have them win a clean draw back to the point. The defenseman should hammer the sensible one-timer here. Courage, quick angle, and depth adjustments are needed. Give and go down low drill. Place a shooter with pucks on the half boards and a player down on the goal line. The goaltender should respect both players in case the man down low decides to walk instead of pass. When the last pass occurs, the goaltender must make a quick shot ready challenge. Juicy rebounds should be played out. Give and go slot drill. As with the give-and-go down-low drill, the goaltender must respect both players and move with each pass. 
Here the goaltender must prevent any shots through the holes and strive to seal up the bottom of the net. Again, juicy rebounds should be played out. Walk the goal line drill. Players skate directly down the goal line and can either cut in front or wrap around behind the net. The goaltender must protect their limits with fake or real poke checks. Walk the slot drill. Start the shooters in each corner and have them rapidly skate in a big arc the size of the three-point line in basketball. As they move in this manner, they can shoot at any time and shots against the grain should be encouraged here. Low walkout drill. Station a man five to six feet off to the side of the net. Send a pass to him from the top of the same side circle. The goaltender must quickly seal the post and challenge when the man walks out. Short side and goals through the goalie must be prevented at all costs here. Wraparounds. The shooter must attack the net with speed and try to get the wrap in before the goaltender establishes a proper seal on the post. Work both sides and keep the goalie honest, taking the odd poor angle shot. Tip and rebound control. Hard low shots should be driven in from the point. The man in front should try to direct pucks through the goalie or over them. Besides closing up well and attacking the deflector's stick, the goaltender must battle for any rebounds. The man can also be placed directly in front of the goalie to provide a screen as well as a potential forehand or backhand tip. Aerial tip drill. Aerial pucks should be wristed in from the blue line knee high. The man in front should attempt to tip down on the puck. Of course, any loose pucks need to be battled for, with the goaltender analyzing whether a full recover is required or the maintenance of the down position. Pass behind the net drill. Place two players behind the net and select one player to receive a quick pass for a walkout. To increase the difficulty here, you may allow players to play catch a few times before the real walkout occurs. Poke check variety drill. Assign the following numbers to each of the five basic poke checks. Number one, standing. Number two, butterfly. Number three, diving. Number four, glove side post. And number five, brodeur sweep. Call out the number randomly and force the goaltender to concentrate on which poke check you want. Poke check recovery drill. Place several pucks 10 to 12 feet out in front of the net. Assign each puck a number and then call out a puck for the goaltender to poke check. The shooter should quickly track down the puck and bury it. The goaltender must quickly recover and play this puck.